Shalom, Mishpaga. Welcome back to Code Searcher. All right, folks. Uh, I want to read an article to you. I've been getting some information um, <clears throat> fed to me, seeing that I'm in this location. I wanted to give you some firsthand uh, reporting. Um, there's a gas leak at the Porter Ranch uh, area, which is just like this mountain here. I will be like over here on this side. This is uh, the San Fernando Valley right here in Los Angeles. Um, so, yeah, let me just read this article to you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive out to the location and uh, see if, what we can ascertain from the situation. So, uh, Los Angeles, national gas has been spewing into the air in Porter Ranch neighborhood since late October, sickening residents, prompting thousands to evacuate their homes and pouring greenhouse gas into the atmosphere. Governor Jerry Brown faced with mounting public anger uh, and no end in sight to the leak, declared a state of emergency on Wednesday for the neighborhood of about 30,000 at the edge of the San Fernando Valley and residents who have been demanding to know why the Southern California Gas Company cannot fix the leak uh, into its natural gas well storage, excuse me, st storage well and whether the company will compensate them for their lost property, value, and health care problems. Uh, want to know why it's taken so long? This is the equivalent of the BP oil spill, except it's on land and in a populated community, says Mitch Englander, the Los Angeles City Councilman who represents Porter Ranch. This is one of the most disruptive, catastrophic environmental cases that I've ever seen. It's truly a chaotic crisis. Already more than 2,000 families have left this affluent suburb because of its terrible smell and its side effects which include nosebleeds, headaches, dizziness, and vomiting. And I can testify, folks, I was just over here last night um, in the, this area, and there is a smell. It smells like sulfur or rotting eggs um, over in that area. Uh, health officials have been testing the air quality in the area and insist there is no long-term health risk, though short-term effects like the ones residents are cited are in common. Uh, and result not from the gas, but rather from chemicals put into the gas so the humans can smell it. Uh, so while the long-term effects of the leak may not amount to much in the short term, the problem has caused mayhem. Aaron Brockovich, the environmental activist who su successfully took uh, Pacific Gas and Electric Company to task over groundwater contamination, has held community meetings to discuss the leak's effect. The Federal Aviation Administration has ordered no fly zone over Porter Ranch for safety reasons. The leak buried deep in the ground at a giant gas field that stores energy for distribution around the Southern California now accounts for about 25% of the methane emitted in California each day. Methane is a highly potent greenhouse gas that contributes to climate change. Uh, in a declaration of a state of emergency, Mr. Brown said that he acted in response to the prolonged and continuing natural, uh, nature of the leak, which is detected on October 23rd. To those, who's have, to those whose lives have been up, uh, upended by the leak, the situation has long qualified as a disaster, and the governor delay has been one of many sources of frustration. Um, Sharon Musavi Dormani, is among those who have moved away temporarily with her dog and two children after choking on fumes for more than a month and suffering from headaches and sore throats and nosebleeds. Even the dog was getting diarrhea. She said, oh, that's bad. With hotels in their full area full over the holidays, and family members found themselves in a hotel in Pasadena, about 30 miles away, unsure where they would end up or what the school or the children would attend, given that the ones in Porter Ranch have closed because of the problem. It's like a fog in your brain. It feels like you're having a stroke. Miss Musavi Dumani uh, said how she feels every time she returns to her home. And she recently, uh, as she did recently, to prepare for the heavy rainstorms that fell in the region last weekend as a consequence of El Nino. Every time I go back, I get sicker and sicker. Many who have stayed have taken to wearing surgical masks when they garden or to keep out of the rotten egg smell and the oily mist that sometimes leaves a brown residue on the cars. In some gated community near the gas field, half of the homes now sent empty, prompting fears of burglaries. 
temporary signs, uh, temporary signs dot the streets, urging residents to report suspicious activity. The neighborhood was uh, a, a safe place to have your kids grow up, said Amber Visage, 27, explaining why she moved to Porter Ranch with her daughter, now six. She has relocated to a hotel and is worried about the value of her home, along with the family's health. Who would want to move here now, she asked. The Southern California Gas Company is a division of Sempra Energy of San Diego and has been subsidizing those residents who want to move and installing air filtrations for those who choose to stay. Officials from the company declined to say uh, how much has been spent addressing the leak and how they plan to address the lawsuits that will probably haunt them for years. Uh, at least two law firms representing the residents have filed suit against the company and has Los Angeles City Attorney. Uh, shares of Semper have fallen 8.6% since the leak was discovered. Mr. Brown's sister, Kathleen L. Brown, is Semper Energy Board member. Uh, company officials insist that they were doing everything possible to plug the leak quickly adding that the leading engineers from around the country had been brought in to assist. A relief well under the construction to fix the problem will have to reach more than 8,000 feet underground so engineers can inject additional liquids into the permanently filling the, uh, and then permanently cap the leak well with cement. Uh, officials, company officials said, we're working literally 24 hours a day, said Dennis Areola, the president of Southern California Gas Company. People get frustrated. They don't understand the principles, uh, but we're all going on schedule. He added that the experts have never seen anything like this. Unlike under, some other wells, the leaking well did not have the uh, surface safety valve. Though they are not required by state regulators, such a valve would have stopped the leak quickly, and calls for reform have uh, followed. This is an emergency declaration. Mr. Brown has ordered an investigation into calls of the leak and will be stepping up regulations for all gas storage facilities in the state. And folks, I will be going on location here in just a little bit. We're actually charging the batteries to the GoPros so we could uh, get out there and get some footage of what's going on. I don't know if we'll be able to get to the actual site because they've closed off a lot of this. There's, you can't even fly over this with, with airplanes. So... Um, they're taking this situation very seriously. Um, and I know down in the valley there's certain places where you can't go. The actual fumes are going this way. I'm on on the, well, I guess this would be the, the leeward side. or This would be the windward side, right? So I'd be on the, this side of the mountain and then going around to the other side to uh, to see if we can smell anything. And I will be giving you a report from there. So um, hang in there.